I went on a dream trip this summer. From New York City to Saskatchewan, a place with unique architecture, prairie, wildlife, museums, football, even a liver lovers club. Yes, we love liver. Yes, we love liver. And I got to meet a lot of interesting locals. Saskatchewan is just awesome, pure awesomeness. I am not insane. But that's not why I went. I went to its capital, Regina, because it's a Mountie factory. Turns out since 1885, Depot Division here has turned 60,000 people into Mounties. I've always suspected that the reality of the Mounties isn't exactly as we perceive them. I had an unanswered question. Am I Mountie material? The Heritage Center is an interesting museum of Mountie history, but I was going to do something a little different. I asked if I could try out for a day, an American, and I was surprised when they said sure. You can enter your new home here for a couple of days. Yes. Which is the... I was nervous checking in. I had only been the fifth civilian ever to have this opportunity. Sadly, I wouldn't be wearing the red surge, which is only worn by Mounties on special occasions like graduation. I had a long way to go for that. I'm a little surprised by this color on this side. Next, I decided to go the uh, full Mountie. I just like a little bit of a mullet trainer, kind of short right here, but yeah. keep it long back here. I don't see a lot of options. <laughs> uh, who is this? <laughs> it's not me. What is that? I looked enough like a Mountie Cadet that I got to meet up with Troop 5, who had just started their 24-week training program. Bruce, what advice do you have for me getting through this tomorrow? You're going to have amazing people around you that are going to, without actually holding your hands, are going to hold your hands and make sure that you're going to do the best you can. Mountie's day begins early, but I had to wonder, why do we need to march in the first place? I'm a drill instructor. Basically, we teach uh, the troop how to march, but it's more than just marching. Uh, it's talk about teamwork. Where can, else can you show and develop officer presence by being on the drill floor? They have to move as a troop. They have to learn how to work with each other, um, be in step with each other. Almost didn't recognize you. Felt like a full day's work already, and it was only 7 a.m. Spread your feet apart. Yeah, we're gonna move in here like this. Okay? Hold his feet. Okay. Can I go to the Heritage Center? <laughs> <laughs> what I've learned is, is that Mounties are tough. And that I'm never resisting arrest. Or making one. Turns out that the only thing Mounties have to mount anymore is a car. Horses have been taken out of training since 1966. What's the biggest mistake I can make out there? If you make me sick, then there's an issue. That means that you're a really bad driver. <laughs> Though I didn't hit any cones down, my teacher couldn't believe someone from New York would drive that slow. So next, the driving simulators. I'm a little nervous, gotta be honest. Everyone is kind of like, ah, have you been to fitness yet? All day long. protocol. Did I throw up in my shirt? Or... What I like most about Depot was no matter how tough it was or how poorly I was doing, fellow cadets were always there to help me out. So am I Mountie material? Well, my U.S. passport says no. But at least I think I understand that David Bowie song, We Could Be Mounties, just for a day. I'll guarantee you'll like it. <laughs> this troop said I'm the token mustache, I'm the only mustache in the troop, so I got that going for me.